is dating downwards and she has never been happier. Oh, you think you better than him ah? You earn more than you are better. My man, more than double his salary. Is it considered dating down if their family is money problems? Wow, that's and damn bastard. Are you sure you want to date him? This is your daily catch-up. I know gay. <laughs> <laughs> you never say anything. <laughs> Crap. This episode is brought to you by DBS. They're giving away up to $688 in cash and we're going to show you how. All you have to do is sign up for a DBS or POSB multiplier account, credit at least $1,600 off your salary for three consecutive months and you'll get a $300 cash reward. Multiplier accounts also offer 4.1% bonus interest and with multiple types of incomes recognized, it's great for anyone. Eh, but wait, what about the other $388? We're getting to that. Sign up for either a DBS DBS Live Fresh or POSB everyday credit card. Use the promo code SC388. Then charge a minimum of $800 within 60 days of approval to get that $388 in cash back. And that's how you get $688. This promotion is available from now to 30th June 2024. So check out the link in the description below for more information. And now, back, back to, to the, the episode. episode. Okay, anyway, I'm asking this question because this is a question that Lemon 8 user Tai Peng with fish has been asked a lot from her friends. Sorry, wait up, wait up. What is Lemon 8? It's the new TikTok. So essentially, she has been going viral because she says that she's dating downwards and she has never been happier. I mean, a lot of people, especially insecure men, have taken this to say like, oh, you think you're better than him. Ah? Like, you think like, what, you earn more than you are better or, or all that. But then she has recently came out in a video to clarify that she was just using it as a term to describe that her boyfriend at the point where they started dating was earning less than her. Ah. But in her video also, I think she mentioned that he actually had sacrificed a lot of things for her and then he hustled very hard, right? And currently, she's actually dating up because ah. he now earns more than her. Oh, the same you guy. See? Yeah, the ah. same guy. This is investment. No, but I think the outrage that she kind of got on herself is kind of self-inflicted because I went to a Urban mm -hmm. Dictionary uh, definition of what is dating down. What a boomer. Urban dictionary. <laughs> it's okay, where yes. you find out where things are usually said. Tell me right? this legitimate oh, definition. Dating down, the first suggestion, dating someone of a much lower caliber that you have in the past or are worthy of. Yeah. Right. So uh, second definition, dating someone that is on a lower caliber as yourself. So, uh, <laughs> I think... <laughs> <laughs> he, never, guy, he never vet what he did. I did better than I skipped one already. You're the guy this that is... starts every essay with, according to the Oxford English Dictionary. Yeah. He read the teleprompter, but he don't know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> the top one was the same <laughs> but I think the more common like uh, definition mm. of dating down is actually like uh, financially of quality not financially oh okay oh. Yeah. so this is why people are getting all up in arms it's like oh you think you're better than him right, is it? Right, but, then right. it's actually, but how do we yeah, quantify but... quality no no but I think it's about the why is she getting flat because she go and label it as dating uh, down yes. she could have used something else like yeah, yeah like that's what I thought poor. when she said dating <laughs> poor is better no, but, but I get the idea it's, it's closer you know, to yeah. what she means dating down sounds as though she is settling mm -hmm. reaching okay uh, let me quote oh. some of the things that she did say in her video okay. Okay. one in this day and age dating downwards generally means lesser earning power or less educated and According she explained her. that some families might have um, you have to marry a graduate kind of mindset so yeah. I think this guy probably was not a uni graduate You're right. but um, even when she was earning almost twice his salary back then um, he actually offered to pay for a lot of their dates and then he was a lot more self-motivated to do better because he wanted to provide her a better standard of living so my man more than double his salary dude yes. respect shout out to this guy unless she was job. earning 2k he was earning 1k and then after still that, double yeah. Yeah. more than double <laughs> she never eh. hey you gotta recognise and she actually said that at that point because he was actually very upfront with his salary like from early on in their relationship but she actually chose to lie about hers because she didn't want him to feel emasculated. So she's the asshole. Yeah, that's a bit. Why? No, how old she's presumptuous. Why would you that, lie? Yeah, don't like, lie. Thinking that oh, like if I tell him my real income and he thinks that I earn more than him, he'll make he'll feel less of himself. Yeah, why the guy is confident about his? Like, yeah, sure. Real men don't care. He but knows his potential. But I do kind of get why she lied to him. I like to pay also, because it feels to me like I treat her, you know. But I think like it came to a certain point where like she start to drop hints, right? Where like uh. 
like to hint me to be more careful about my spending. Like she'll say like, oh, like, you know, we don't have to go to this restaurant or like, uh, like let's maybe like, let's set a budget for like Valentine's mm. Day, that kind of thing. Yeah. So I think I can see that like, maybe she's not trying to like put him down a peg by saying, oh, maybe if I tell him, he'll be insecure. But I think is that she don't want to have that power imbalance in the relationship, right? Where he will feel like, oh, now he, knowing that she earns so much, now he needs to like, bring her for more expensive meals, you know, or that thing that she can have a much better standard of living with someone else. Like, just eliminate all of that conflict by, like, lowering your salary a bit, lah. Then eventually you tell him the truth, then when yeah, he then matches the, the pay, okay. then so what? I don't think you need to lie to, to yeah. be yeah. able to navigate that, though. If, say, you were in her situation, like, his situation, uh-huh. you would rather your partner had lied to you at the start. If I was earning less. That's your ideal I think situation. I, would have, I think I would have appreciated why she did it. Yeah. I don't think that's like something we're not yeah, seeing. No, because yeah. to me, it's like if you are capable of lying to me about mm-hmm. something, you're capable of lying about to me about anything and you just use the excuse of like, oh, I was just protecting your feelings. I feel like that's not good enough. I can me. cheat on you and protect your feelings, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I didn't tell you about it, because I didn't want to hurt you. I mean, the, that level of lies not the same. Lah. Mm. Like the cheating and the <gasps> lying. No, but, it's not but the, any lie there is, is a enough, bet, there's, there's a much intention. easier solution to this, which allows you to both be honest with each other. Yes. So why not take that route? I think it makes a big difference at what point she told him the truth uh, because right if say okay. it's really at the start of their relationship where they are trying to figure out whether they can be together and then she wanted to be with him but maybe he's a bit unsure because he's telling her out of like hey, actually I'm earning very little then maybe she's like ah never mind I'm also not earning that much you know mm. then she say like maybe 1.5 times that kind then after that when they started to get more serious then she okay like actually now I'm earning this then she tell him the real amount no, then, if I was the guy I'll, yeah I still feel yeah. like I would be like I think if you, are some, just tell me. if you are an heiress right mm-hmm. yeah or, or like a billionaire's daughter sure hide that shit. Mm-hmm. But you making like, maybe <laughs> okay, sure, two times more, three times more, whatever. Uh-huh. Like, no need to lie about that shit. Yeah, I think, how much difference will it be? And also, based on your justifications, right? Mm-hmm. If she's comfortable with how much he's making and is willing to make the necessary, not say sacrifice, but lifestyle adjustments, then they can both just eat cheaper and be frugal about things and whatnot and still enjoy they each are. other. They are. So they actually say that they mostly go and eat Thai fun and then on the like on occasion fish. they will go to eat Genki Sushi to celebrate. That. Yeah, so to me that is already the adjustment yeah. but there's no need to lie in order to achieve that. Like the other compromise. thing, yeah. The other thing for me also is like, what what do you value in like a relationship? Mm. Is it the connection? Is it the person? Or like, is that salary element such a huge deal? And I know that that's important when you're planning for life, when you're planning for marriage and all that, right? But to me, what it speaks out to is that if she's willing to lie about that because she thought that it would hurt my feelings, that salary component is such an important factor for her. And if she's playing such a huge value on that, to me, that's that's a red flag for me because she's valuing whether she wants to stay in this relationship or not. Based on salary. I disagree though. I feel like it's like at the start of the relationship, you are not sure and you don't want money to be the reason it doesn't work out. Yes, so but I feel the opposite. But if you are really lying about it, you have to tell the truth eventually right? and this is going to become a big deal down the line. Yeah, which is why it's important to me at what point she told him the truth. Just That's understandable though. Like how, how young are they? I don't know. Oh. Okay, okay, so, okay, okay. So, so question, <laughs> question, uh, question, question, question. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was unprofessional of me as a whole. How early into dating somebody should you disclose your salary? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. For, for Nair and I, it was easy because I had all the information being her supervisor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you decided to <laughs> go through the like... HR records and then like, yeah, pay slip. But then you have to tell her? Did she ask you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was upfront la, when I think she asked. Is it difficult because it's like she's almost asking f- about her supervisor's pay? Oh, which is why I have to work with my boss to to work out like a system so that I don't determine her compensation because it's not fair for all the other yeah, stuff yeah, that yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah, after. Right. Well, and, and so, arrangement for that. That's so nice. So, yeah. so that's how actually I, I got to work closer with John because John and I were the same rank but in two different like divisions. Right. So then mm-hmm. it was fair for me to then say, okay, John would mediate like certain conversations that I have with salaries right, right, right. I actually make, give him more work to do like essentially so <laughs> you still haven't answered the question how mm. early into dating then you are talk about decided to talk about it I think it was quite early on I think it was like maybe within definitely within the first year uh, I would say maybe within the first three months I think we knew each other so. question what was huh. the purpose of the conversation I honestly can't remember because it was eight years ago <laughs> but we were planning l- life mm. or I think wow. three months wow. in like <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm honestly trying to think about it. I'm honestly trying to think about it. So cute. <laughs> okay, I, I, I don't know if this was the first time we talked about it, but I know that early on, I told her about my regrets in life. I think one regret that I had was 
choosing the digital media industry because I think when I graduated, I had I was in a crossroads. I had two choices. One was to join finance and mm. to go into like investment banking and all that where I would be earning a lot of money or media where I could pursue uh, my passion and earn less lah. Mm. and I think that's when I like told her how much I was earning yeah. wait you say you regret so then she joined you and then, and then, and then she, <laughs> but then she said that if had I not joined the media industry I wouldn't have met her oh, that's true. Yeah. 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 all that yeah. regret yeah. 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 you score <laughs> Nice. That was it. And that brings me to a would you rather question. All right, Ooh. let's go. Interactive time. Would you rather date up <laughs> or date down in terms of money? Just, just pure in terms salary. Of salary. Up. Down. Okay, I also rather date down actually. Ah. Down. Yeah, yeah, date up lah, confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. confirm. <laughs> <laughs> you pray for errors. It's funny Jared say that because he's dating up. Hey, why is it funny? Why no, is it like, funny? <laughs> okay, in my, ide- <laughs> in my ideal situation... <laughs> Oh, man, everyone go hate me for this. But I would like to date cool. equal, equal, you know, like at least a general one two hundred dollar difference. Okay, but who is the hundred dollar more? She can be lah if she wants fine. to be. But it yeah, it doesn't really matter at that point. But like, I just don't want anyone to feel like they have to pull more of their weight. Do you feel like currently we are pulling not as much weight as your wife? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we do crazy. I got it though. So we are booking tickets to Japan, right? Like mm. trying to plan a holiday. Woo. And then sh- Again? Didn't you just yeah. go? Like what? I like Japan. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, oh yeah. wow, you earn less and you like to go to Japan. That's convenient. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah, just go to Malaysia. <laughs> yeah. okay. And then we wanted to buy tickets yesterday. And obviously, we're going to take it Dutch. It's yeah, because you are buying the same seats. Huh? What do you mean? No, some people want to, some guy want to pay for yeah. the entire ticket oh, and everyone, or the whole oh, trip or anything, I right? Mean, it stop like, spoiling uh, the market. <laughs> but we are a Dutch, we are a Dutch couple. Oh, <laughs> what? 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 Is that what the Dutch are? I don't know. You're like, hey, who? Austrian, they're Austrian. The way they're Swiss. Okay. <laughs> anyway. of so when it came for time to like buy the tickets, right? I checked my bank account and I realized I didn't have enough money to pay for my share. At these kind of points, right? Like if anytime she wants to just spend something, she can she can pay for both of us. How upfront yeah. are you guys about your finances? Super right? upfront. So she knows 100%. how much you earn, she knows how much you spend on stuff. Yeah. And she knows how much savings you have. Yes. <laughs> and does she have significantly much. more savings than you? <laughs> so she knows that you're a poor saver. Uh, she knows that I am making amends to it. She knows that I am a work in progress. She knows that he is recently... Yeah. And she knows that you spend a lot on Gundams. <laughs> hey. Hey, $20 hey. only, okay? It's the most fun you can get for $20. Hey, hair. Hey, hey. 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 hey, Clothes. Does it feel like as though she's hard carrying the financial situation of your relationship? <sighs> But she's not, right? Since you're going Dutch. She's not, yeah. As it goes for like the, the essentials and the bills and all that kind of stuff, we really do pay like an equal amount. Yeah, it's just the big ticket uh, special items like holidays and all that kind of stuff. Like. How does this reflect on you and how you feel about yourself? Because like to me, right, mm. this is more of a reflection of your... how you manage your finances. Yeah. More so than mm. earning power. Yeah. Mm. But you can earn more but spend way more also and save less. Yeah. No, but I think that is like uh like he's in a very unique situation because they are at a point where they have gotten the house, they have a dog that they can afford. Yeah. And then they don't want kids or so. So whatever they want is just like like how to say, like I don't think that there is a big expenditure that he needs to have that savings for at the moment. Yeah. Or within the short term, the very short term future. Yeah, except for the rainy day thing. Like. If the rainy yeah. day actually happens, then that's gonna be a problem. Every relationship is different and it always depends on mm. the dynamic. But I think like, don't you ever feel like sometimes you don't really have a say in certain things just because you won't be like she will have to pay for upfront. Like for example, right? Mm. One day you might just realize let's do a home makeover yeah. and then you realise shit I can't say that because your wife will have to pay for most of it no but I think we have we are understanding enough to like only spend money when we have the means yeah, yeah. and like uh, thankfully we are not a couple that wants la, mm. in the mm. sense that uh, okay we both want a renovation sure for the house mm. uh, down the line but like we will only do it we won't do, put ourselves in debt we won't be in a position where she's going to have to fork out like 60, 40 that kind of thing yeah. like I, I'm going to make sure uh that we both pay equally and it's, it is it is up to me. La. I'm yeah. curious about Shum's position because she's actually in the exact scenario that this uh, Tai Peng we fish is in. 
Oh, yeah, oh, like yes. you were, uh, when you first started dating Alvin, he was in school, so zero income also. And then you were earning. Yeah, so how did that affect your relationship? Yeah. It wasn't entirely zero because he tried to take on like odd jobs, like coaching jobs, mm. just oh. so he can have some income to bring me on dates. Oh, and you also cute. Just for you. <laughs> no, just for me, la, for like living expenses, or general whole living out. expenses. But there were a lot of times where we want to have like uh, mini celebrations, right? But I know that this is going to cause a dent in his wallet. So instead of a hotel room, you just go to a poly lah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Draw back. <laughs> Click here to watch our poly episode. Uh-huh. Put it somewhere, yeah. No, but yeah, so... <laughs> She's still <so> thrown off now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't tell her the truth. Um, money has been like a point of contention before in our relationship earlier on. Because I work longer than him also, right? I'm comfortable enough to want to, to spend on myself. Mm. Say I want to eat. Um, high tea lock any day mm. I can just go and eat but then for him right, it's a bit stressful because he feels like he needs to pay or at least on Dutch with me mm. but for someone who has zero, almost zero income right, half means like $60 one what meal. the f- yeah, why spending so much at high tea lock yeah? huh? because so it's $60 high tea lock I order one fish one beef one pork then after I ordered the shrimp paste. This That's is about over Even now, I think Hai Tilao too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you wait till you go beauty in the pot. Anyway. I go before. Man, right? I, I go think all this hot pot bullshit. Cook. Yeah. Spend so much money, cook your own food. F*** off. Uh. <laughs> Actually, honestly, just no, do it No, they home. cook for you. Hai Tilao. So <laughs> they can peel the shit for you so if you want. Prawn, I mean, not Ooh, shit. For $120. Nate and I, both of us, we eat Hai Tilao no more than $80 and we've over-ordered it. Huh? You have to oh. very strategically <laughs> order. No, it will be super full and we eat a lot. Back to your situation, right? I want to know from your mindset as the female mm. also earning more, how did it affect you? Yeah. Like, do you feel like uh, it's less than why yeah, why he not making money then I then like it's limiting my ability to enjoy our relationship? The only thing that frustrates me is when we want to he wants to go on a trip. Ah, <laughs> okay. Then, his he, means. then he asked me, can or not? <laughs> then I'm like, what you mean? So he want you to pay? No, he Oi. said after that he'll pay back. Yeah, la, so he's asking you to yeah, pay first. Yeah, then I said oh, cannot. Shit. No, but what is the runway of him paying you back? Is, like, is it throughout like the year, 12 month installment, that kind of thing, or what? No, la, he, he has a plan. La. He'll tell me his plan, how he's going to like. 12 month installment. Which I, which I appreciate, <laughs> okay. but I feel like no one. La, yeah, what, law. Why we want to do this kind of thing? Never like, earn never wait, more day. <laughs> wait till like, we are both comfortable, then we go com- yeah. oh, on a trip comfortably. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise, right, say now, yes, I pay for the entire trip. Then expenses over there, right, you need to like ask me. Eh. You need to tabulate everything. Uh, you need to get to... out a bit, then. Yeah. You yeah. wouldn't do that with your friends, right? So why would you do that with your partner? Yeah. yeah. But some part of me feel like I might be a bit too selfish. Like, no, I think you are helping mm. him in the early stages of him of, of his financial literacy. Mm, mm. Yeah. Literacy. I, I, oh, like he, he can start saving now and build that foundation, ma. Or does he think that he is going to the, eventually reach that level? So he say like, yeah. just invest in me. Just no, but don't spend money you don't have. That's the number one rule of spending that's, money. That's what it's I true. feel. Too. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I try so it. true. Anyways, now that he's working right, I'm actually dating up. Investment. Investment. Yeah, wow, investment. the ROI <laughs> damn solid. Yeah. I think it's important to to segregate the expectations you have from your partner and the relationship and your own lifestyle. I think these are three completely separate things. Even with like Net, for example, and we are we're like planning the expenses for our wedding or like with our reno. Sure, my money, her money is our money. But like, I feel that you shouldn't value somebody first and then go, oh my God, what is our relationship going to be like? Maybe I cannot eat like here or maybe I cannot go to this trip or I cannot go to these places. If you really love somebody and it works and then the financial situation is this, there's always different ways of enjoying the relationship at different price points. I think it's what you prioritize first. And I think if someone is prioritizing the value of somebody, already thinking, am I dating up or down? Because now my dates when I dated, my ex was going to coup d'etat or whatever and then now I have to go to the <laughs> Lorong let's 9 go, let's go. to eat or whatever lah right nice. <laughs> you made it, you made it, you made it. <laughs> then I feel like you are already entering the relationship on completely the wrong foundation for me personally and the reason why I say I would date up is because in terms of finances I'm average I don't think I'm like crazy rich or whatever so that's what a crazy rich person would say I were to date somebody if I were to date down financially I'd be dating somebody probably below average. <laughs> wow. In terms of finance. A... Okay. okay. Why would I want that? What is your issue with dating someone that 
the finances is way below. Struggles, bro. <laughs> like what? Like we what? don't need struggles. What, what, but what, what does the struggle look like? Like an Struggle example? looks like really needing to think about finances. Cannot, like limiting the things that you can do. Like saying if you want to travel to this country right now, then she cannot, is it? Something like that. Okay, okay. So, 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 pause it this. Wow. Oh. Pause it. Oh. 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 Okay. Me okay. Pause it. Socrates. <laughs> you have found a partner, finally, who earns <laughs> the same as you Why? or more than you. Mm. And now you can afford this lifestyle. Mm. Uh, maybe you guys own a really nice landed house. Mm. She is earning that much because she has a really good job as like say an athlete. She broke her limb and she can no longer run and now she's going to earn half your amount. Are you going to break up with her because now you can no longer afford your lifestyle? No. We why? will adjust our lifestyle accordingly. Then so why, why couldn't you adjust the lifestyle in the first place? Boo, Boo, I'm right man. <laughs> eh, it's okay for growth and... and okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Okay, okay, so, okay, okay now <laughs> I understand. You break your leg, <laughs> when you are dating that time, I think it's fine to be a little bit more particular. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, at yeah, least it, the, the, the basis is that you are both pursuing the same lifestyle. Yeah. Or, or yeah. But once you are in it already, then I think that that changes. Okay, so maybe it's not so much about saying that they need to earn a certain amount. Maybe it's about having a minimum earning or earning potential, which is that they're either studying or they're either going to get somewhere just so that you don't get to a stage where the disparity is so much that you need to literally drag their ass through life. Correct, correct. Which is why okay. I won't aim to date down. I won't aim to date somebody that I know only can make like yeah. $3,000 or whatever the hell. One of the other reasons why I want to date up, it's their perspective towards money. Huh? I think I think if I date down, the concerns that they have, even maybe potentially the mindset that they have towards money mm. might be a bit too different. But that could go both ways, right? Because in the sense that if the rich person didn't get maybe it's an heiress, right? And then all, her mindset towards money is I can spend, spend, spend because... No earning eh. Not, 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 not your wealth. No, why she's yeah. an heiress but she yeah. just doesn't earn. Why she's rich. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but most likely they have a trust fund and so that trust is paying them a monthly. Yeah, yeah. then their uh, perspective towards money could different. be very f- uh, yeah. uh, extravagant, you know, while... Which me- is also the other extreme which is also red flags lah. Yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking more of like I'd rather have that kind of money problems than that other kind of money problems. <laughs> no, it's fair. I think it's not so much about finding like, oh, you both are earning the same amount, but I think you both earn enough that you don't rely on the other person to survive. Mm. <laughs> because I think if you always, wow. one of you always feel that I need this other person, then the complete dynamics yeah. is so unhealthy and so mm. toxic. Because the other person unintentionally will take advantage of that power dynamic, yep. whether they realise it or not. You know what's damn f- up though? If you date an heiress, right, who literally has any, like, you money to be able to buy anything that she wants, right? Gifting is going to be damn difficult. But then that's not what they're looking for. No, but maybe their love language <laughs> is, is, is gifts. Okay, then there are other heiresses. <laughs> 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 On to the next one. You know there was once that like, as a, okay, because my partner's family travels quite a bit. Possibly it's a minimum of twice a year. After a recent trip that we had, then they immediately start planning for the next one already, right? Then mm. when they did, then they invited me or so. Then I actually said like, oh, I don't want to go because I... As in, I budget for one trip and then I save towards the trip, right? Like, I start setting aside money for the trip. And then after that, to me, it's just like, I don't need to go on a secondary trip. Then after that, her mom said, oh, never mind, I just pay everything for you. As in, I think oh. I was a bit conflicted in that moment because on one hand, I understand that her mom treats me as a daughter and I appreciate that. And I know that she's not trying to make me feel bad or whatever, right? But she's just, she just thinks that it'd be fun to have me on the trip and then she wants to pay for me. Lah. But then on the other hand, I feel like... I, I don't know what it is. Maybe ego that is making me feel like ah, I don't want to go on her mother's money. You know what I mean? <sighs> totally go, man. <laughs> <laughs> Japan, here I come. I think it's fine to accept gestures uh-huh. and offers from Which other I do. people. Like if yeah, you pay yeah. for meals and all that, I'm okay. But it feels like flight plus hotel, like a bit extravagant, no? But to me, it's, it's their offer though. Yeah. That means they already know how much it will cost to them and it's fine. That means they value so you. So y'all will yeah. all say yes? I think I will say yes and then in other ways, I will know how I'm going to like Kind of like Correct. show back. Carry the luggage, is it? Yeah, do everything. <laughs> I, I will pay for like, like maybe. I will go with you and carry the luggage. Yeah, pay, pay for, for one meal at least, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show that you appreciate yeah. it. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Helpful will be anything you want to help with planning yeah. or this kind of thing. I, I can get the, the, the grab to the place or yeah, this kind I think of thing. Yeah, I'm natural at this one. Damn it, I'll see the Alps another time. Oh, no! No, I like this because there's an extension to family. Is it considered dating down if their family is money problems? Oh. So so that means like maybe this oh. person right is like is a a colleague that you are dating. So you all kind of do the same job, earn the same money, but actually you find out that like 
family background is like struggling, she needs to support the parents, that kind of thing. Then that kind of falls onto you kind of a little bit also. Yeah. I do think there is yeah. definitely something to consider because even without the money part, right? Like people always say when you get married, you don't just marry the person. Yeah, you marry the family. Yeah, you marry the family. And so like a lot of that dynamic, right? Even how it affects your partner is like things that will go on to affect your relationship. I I, I think if you're getting to a stage where you're talking about potential marriage, Mm -hmm. the first thing that you have to talk about before you even like register or like have your wedding is finances. And I think it's important for you to bring up that. You are just, you just have a concern that like obviously, um, her family is probably in that. I think she will hopefully have brought it up. That's how you know about it. And for you to understand what the responsibility or expectation she has from from you. I think it's not so much about saying, I don't want to pay for your family or whatever. It's just understanding where the responsibility is going to be. Where does the buck stop? Because if she has some expectation that hopefully both of you as the maybe the highest earning couple in that family can support, then at least you know what you're getting into. Right. Oh, I think what is difficult right. is if say for example, their parents are sick. So yeah. you know that Ugh. there's a constant medical bill, right? Then how to be like not busted and then ask like, hey, you know mm. like the hospital bill and all that, like do you expect us to split? Yeah? Is it is it not? Because in my head, I would actually separate it. Eh. Like I would say that your family, your problems. Mm. <laughs> no, but next time when you're married, then you're one family. Ma. Yeah, or, or if there's a situation where the parents might have to move in with you or so. Ah. No. Oh, you're too scared, you too uh. scared. <laughs> no, but, but what if you don't have a choice? Or yeah. well, what if yeah, you like, are the only child that yeah, yeah, is yeah, capable yeah, yeah. Like, of... This is my mom. Well, eh. find a way. Okay, la, no, la, no, la, I understand. Yeah. La. I think... Oh, yeah. I have to. La. It's family already. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, exactly. Shit. I'll just find a way to make more. La. Or like did and often. No, huh? <laughs> no then after years down the road, they find their real parents and then their parents are sickly. That's why we gave you in the first place. Then I will pay them to say like, actually, we are not your parents. <laughs> oh, and that's better than you are lying about the salary. That's why hundred dollars and you're all angry. Oh, and you're shit. still paying. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, 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 it's yeah, one off. To, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're sick. Uh. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> uh, rest in peace. I realised that, say in a meal, right, if we eat $50, actually, I'm eating like $35 worth. My partner realised it was oh. very difficult to broach that with me. Because mm. it's like, clearly, I'm eating more, ma. Then if say like go Dutch, then we split half, right? And then still unfair for her. Yeah. Yeah, when I go up in a group setting, yeah. then it's we know we're just gonna split the bill. Right? So you then go more somebody, expensive. No, other people might order like something that's like two times the price. Yeah. Wow. You know, that's then, then they all split equally. Right? Oh, that's I, why the trick is to ask what you're eating. Then you can uh, gather. Bob uh, uh, gauge like No, I'm that bitch who like wants a <laughs> drink. Oh then like oh. If you mind, right, you can also just volunteer, say, hey, later I help you all split the bill. Like that. Then that's, yeah. Oh, but that's I hate doing that. Okay, but yeah, yeah. I'll try to get my own bill. Yeah, yeah so that's... Oh, mm, yeah. smart. Mm. Or you just do the, the credit card roulette thing on them. Oh, <laughs> not really one person for everything. <laughs> yeah. Then not everybody all the beer. <laughs> <laughs> you just put your MRT card in. Okay, since you all have been in relationships long-term-ish, <laughs> have financial matters ever caused, uh, put a strain on your relationship? I think that's the advantage of going Dutch from the start. Of like, there is really no score to have in terms of like, yeah. who paid more for this. Even though like, I took a bit more of the brunt on my savings to make sure that we paid Dutch. Yeah, it's yeah. like seriously equal, equal ground. So yeah. if you have that kind of mentality from the very, very start, mm. then there's really no score to have. Lah. Yeah, that's a great point. I think the important part for me goes back to not projecting. So I was the opposite of Jared. Like from very early on, <laughs> I wanted to pay for everything. I admit that it's my ego. But then I also have like, I think I've come to accept that like, I think she enjoy like being a part of that also. Mm. And then so I start to learn more how to receive. I just realised that I have a problem. Huh. So like, because I'm the kind that I like to pay for, for stuff. So like we go over dinner, to me, this is my treat, I pay, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Ned is the kind that I think because for a long time, I've earned more than her, mm. she feels the need to make it 50-50. So like, for example, we go to a fancy place and I pay, she will just transfer me half. And sometimes I realise it, sometimes I don't. That's very nice of her Because though. for her, it's like 50-50. But when she pays, I don't have that immediate mindset that it's 50-50. I almost never do it. So I think over time, right, she's probably paid for more things. Because oh. she pays the half and she pays when she pays. Gentlemen, now you know. She's like, <laughs> she like loading ammunition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
you without you knowing. Yeah. What, 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 what if, right? Because sometimes it's you pay, then the other person pay or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. What if the other person always never pay? Because like maybe you are you're earning more, so yeah. you're comfortable just like, ah, never mind, I just I just I got it, I got it. But then the other person never No, but it's fine, are you okay? It's expectations. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, wrong show, this is the daily catch up. I think like <laughs> are you okay? Oh. <laughs> There's actually two things at play. One is that they really, really never pay or you think they never pay but they think they pay. So the, the instance is this. You pay for oh. five things, right? Then yeah. they feel like uh, you pay for five $200 dinners. Then they feel like it's okay for them because of their earning potential that they pay for one $18 ice cream. Then they, you pay for five $200 <laughs> Girl, dinner. Girl, man! And then they pay for like one twenty dollars like dessert no, or whatever. Right? How to be this person? Okay. No, but, but to them, it's like this is me contributing uh, or I can. No, I feel like his example is a bit extreme. Like, I feel like it might be the case that it's always, for example, if you pay for dinner, okay, I'm paying for the movie tickets later. But mm. your dinner could be $200, then your movie ticket is $40, ma. Yeah. yeah. But it's always like that. Then how? Then you feel like you're paying, like you are carrying more weight, but the other person says it feels like it's relative, ma. But it's them chibai, right? If you go and think like, wow, which one is the cheaper one? I try to... Aim no, no, no. <laughs> but it's also chibai for the other person thinking like, hey, how come you're not contributing more? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's expectation. Yeah. So no, actually, we're all chibai. But I do think that it's important <laughs> to like early on in your relationship, get comfortable talking about money. Because yes. I think the longer it drags on, right, then it gets more difficult already. Actually, just now when John Paul asked the question, like I am about the parents, I am, I am in the exact situation. Ma. I think like I've said on the show a lot that like I contribute to my family's finances and all that, right? And then my partner knows that also. But mm. I think that like we are very clear like where to draw the line of her finances and my finances. So the so I don't know how much savings she has and she don't know how much savings I have. But we as in we just know that we each other have savings lah. Then when we do decide to like plan for the future, then the plan is to have a joint account where we contribute money to. Yeah. But other than that, your money is your own money. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's our intention lah. I mean, well, for now so I cannot see the loophole, but hopefully it works out. Same. No, so, that yeah. doesn't make sense, right? Because Why? let's say suddenly like say your parent got some like serious health thing then suddenly mm. bam oh hundred thousand dollars mm. then you don't have enough then how? then I borrow from her oh so you, it's borrowing yeah mm. no yeah. I would do the exact same thing bam money here no. okay yeah. okay I understand so oh, okay, okay. her money is her money I feel like maintaining that privacy in terms of the finances yeah. helps to get rid of a lot of the argument thing also then we just trust that each other can manage our money lah right then um, yeah, Lord, then whatever we need in future to build our home one that will be a separate account yeah, mm. it's, it's exactly that. So, so like, um, Ned and I do exactly that. We have a joint account that covers everything from like Wi-Fi, electricity, mm. utilities, and also like um, baby-related stuff. Mm. It all comes from the joint account. And so, because we contribute Equally. everyone via standing instruction, you almost don't yeah. feel it. You just see the money grow and then it auto-gyros. Actually, Next egg. Yeah, you yeah. avoid a lot of that like financial issues. Well, I need to start. I need to take down notes. Yeah, I okay. feel like across all my relationships, right, whether it's friendships or or my romantic relationship, right, I've always been Money. like a bit more calculative. You need to start taking down notes for your next relationship. Mm. Is it? Wait, no, wait. At this point, point, you're done. No, no, like, because like people think that I'm calculative, right? Maybe because I didn't mm, deliver my intentions well. Growing up in my environment, right, I was forced to mature quickly. So mm. money has been a bit sensitive to me also. Mm. Then like like um. Like, I think I'm in between my situation in between like Denise and Jared that oh. for for <laughs> Elvin hey. right he's okay to just pay for things yeah generally his his relationship with money is quite healthy I think la. but for me right <laughs> I need to count to the very cent yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't say I learned I've learned to control my mm. my calculatives healthy doesn't just mean willing to spend ah. Uh. Okay. Just to clarify yeah. for everyone like, out there. See, I'm very stingy ma, with myself and with other right, people. Right, right. Now I feel very like, I'm always had, I always have these pent up frustrations. I honestly think there's nothing wrong with that. Like, like so there were, I think the last time we had a financial topic with relationships, mm. so people kept saying like, ha, huh, when you're married, like you, all your money is together. Like, like it's mm -mm. both people's money. Ma. But I feel like it's not so much about that. I think it's okay to be calculative because of the culture that we've been brought up in. We are who we are and we, you can't change that, ma. You can't just suddenly say, don't be calculative at the end of the day. So I think we are who we are. The whole way to solve all of that is just transparency. And like, if that's a system that you work with, is to be able to find a partner that can work around that system mm. also. Mm. Okay, so thank you for watching today's episode. Comment down below, would you date up or date down? And if you want to have important money conversations with your partner, there's actually a very good worksheet on John and Pat's channel where they talked about financial literacy oh. and how they manage couple finances. You can check that out. See you in the next episode. Like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye. Adios. Hey, bye. Don't touch those, you never say. <laughs> <laughs>
I saw this TikTok and it was damn funny. It was like the top five Nippo babies of all time. There was no context what like topic this was under. So he started off with a football player. Then it's like, oh, maybe it's all football. Then after he went, uh, he went completely like rogue. He went like, Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> Scrappy-Doo. It's a Nippo baby. Like he had to rely on the fame of Scooby-Doo. Right? He's number one person. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ would be nothing without the father. Oh, man. <laughs> it wouldn't be where he is today. Oh, what the f***? That was wild. Okay, anyway. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I want to go find it. Later. I'll send it to you.